spotted this morning. Clearly a case for celebration. Once more, Australia's great pilot wings his way homeward after a solo dash halfway round the world in seven days. As his beautiful Percival Gull machine soars over Sydney Harbour, the end of another historic flight is in sight. Australia's knight of the skies and hero of a million hearts has again conquered every obstacle and is now more than ever acclaimed the world's greatest aviator. Smithy and his mother, what a happy meeting. She's one of the proudest Australians living. All I want to say is that we expected him to do it and he's done it. He generally does what he sets out to do. Thank you all very much. Not I guess, thanks. Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, uh, little ladies and little gentlemen, in fact, everybody. I'm awfully pleased indeed to be back at the old resort, the, uh, the home of my ups and downs, metaphorically and literally. And I'd like to thank you very sincerely for the absolutely marvelous welcome that you've given poor old Smithy here today. Australia as a whole gets some little credit perhaps from what poor efforts my own aviation exploits can, can bring to it. And I intend to go on flying until either I'm, I have to put the, the crutches on one side and, and be poked into the cockpit, but I'll do it somehow. And I like it. And I like you, and I like your welcome. And thank you very, very much indeed. Yeah.